Okay guys, we've got a swarm issuing here, and uh, this is an awesome sight to see. Look at them pouring out of the... Look at them pouring out of the entrance. So when swarms issue, they typically have made their decision probably a week ago that they're going to swarm, and they're going to pack the hive full of honey. They're going to have, they're going to make some queen cells and set up queens so that when the the original queen of this colony decides to leave, then they have a queen to take over whenever the uh, whenever they're done. So what's happening right now? You see all the bees that are hovering. What they're doing right now is saying, "Everybody come out that's going to go with us," and so they're just sort of in a uh, in a, a flight path where they're just they're just hovering and waiting for everybody to get out that's going to go. Eventually, the queen's going to pour out of there, and then they're going to go find a place to temporarily cluster up. So right now, I don't know how well this is going to show in the video, but right now, if you look in the air, they're all in the air. But they're all in a holding pattern, and they're waiting for that queen. Usually you find swarms that happen on uh, when the weather turns real warm like this today, nice day. That's when they start to issue. They usually wait for that. Normally about anywhere 50-60% of the of the colony is going to leave in this swarm. So what I'm hoping is that they will coalesce somewhere close by that I can capture them. Otherwise, uh, it's pretty much adios. We're going to let this go as long as it takes. It probably should only take maybe five minutes or so, but uh, they're issuing and issuing, and that's all you're going to see. Them just pushing each other out of the way and just pouring out of there until they get there everybody that's going to go. Isn't this amazing? Man. This is the kind of thing that every, every beekeeper ought to be able to experience, but uh, I'm sad that it's one of my hives swarming. You don't want it to be one of yours, but it is what it is today. Sometimes no matter what we do to try and stop our bees from swarming, they're just going to do it because that's part of their reproductive cycle is they want to reproduce and they reproduce by laying eggs and also by dividing the colony so that if they have two colonies out there, they stand a better chance of surviving the winter than if they just had one. Now in amongst all this crowd of bees that's leaving, you're going to have scouts that are kind of leading the way and they will zoom in through these uh, mass of bees to guide everybody else as to where where they want them to go. Right now I can sort of see where they're heading over to one of my spruce trees. So let's just go see what's happening over there. I don't see them coalescing on anything just yet, but they are examining this tree and trying to find a place. The queen will come out here in a little bit and join them, and they'll all sit there in that great big clump that we always think of as a swarm. So let's go back and see what kind of progress we have. So they're still pouring out, still pouring out. So this was a really good hive about three weeks ago. I put a super on two weeks ago. And uh, as you can see, that didn't, apparently they filled that up and felt like they didn't have enough room. So that's, that's the result. It's hard for me to check all my hives on a, even a weekly basis. So uh, sometimes they can get ahead of you so it's best to always kind of keep up with them as best you can and to, to know what they're doing I could see a ton more bees in the air now back over on this spruce tree I 
know if we can see that good from here or not but there is a huge cloud of, of bees over there right now they're still issuing from here So the bees are going to temporarily coalesce on something and then uh, there'll be a you know, big clump of bees like you've seen. At that point, they're going to send out scouts to find a permanent home. And if they may be there for 30 minutes, they might be there for three hours or three days. You never know. As soon as they find a, a permanent place that they want to go to, then they all take off and, and go to that. They're looking for a cavity. Our, uh, Western honeybees are all cavity dwellers, and so they're going to look for a, a nice cavity. I don't know if you can see that yet or not. I don't think they've found a, a spot they want to land on just yet, so we're just going to have to wait for a little bit and see if we can find out where they're going. I'm not sure how long this is going to take, so I'm going to stop this part of the video and I'll come back in 15-20 in, uh, minutes and we'll locate where they are and then you can see them where they've clustered up.